Hello and welcome. We are at the World Economic Forum in Davos and we have a very special guest after reinventing the world of computer software. He is now redefining healthcare and food security and the rights of the poorest of the poor. Please join me in welcoming Bill Gates, person who's just announced $750 million more for the Global uh, Fund. Um, can you tell us what essentially this money and the fund is, 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 go is going to be using it for? Well, there's three diseases that are terrible, and we have tools to help with HIV, malaria, and tuberculosis. And 10 years ago, Global Fund was created to be the group that really was smart about how we spend money and save lives uh, for those three diseases. So they've gotten bed nets out, they've gotten AIDS drugs out, uh, there's over 7 million people are alive that would not be without the Global Fund. And that's really to the credit of the donors, the rich governments, uh, United States, France, many others, who've been very generous in giving money to Global Fund. And of course, to people like you, who are also donating very generously along with Warren Buffett and others. Is this, is this an effort that you are going to continue to do at a time when everyone accuses big business and Wall Street and all of being greedy? The example that many of you set from the point of view of personal philanthropy gives another direction. Well, certainly I, the commitment my wife and I have is to take uh, the good fortune uh, that I have and, and give it back and overwhelmingly to try to help the, the poorest in the world, help them with their farming, their health, their uh, water and sanitation, you know, any way we can drive innovation to improve their lives. I noticed you saying yesterday out here that um, at the end of the day, the way the market works, and the reason why all of this is important, is because we don't necessarily maximize human welfare. We often maximize profits and other things, but not human welfare, which is why intervention is needed. Well, the market is phenomenal, and particularly once you get up into the middle class, the market is there to give you the movies, the food, the uh, educational services, it's incredible. But when you're very poor, um, your voice in the marketplace is extremely weak. And so if you have unique needs, uh, the kind of research and delivery that meets those doesn't get done. Uh, health is a great example of that. Malaria is an awful disease. And yet when I put 20 million into a malaria vaccine to get rid of it, that more than doubled the money going into it, whereas the health problems of the rich that are far, far less impactful get billions of dollars. And so, you know, I'm, I love capitalism, but we need government and philanthropy activity uh, combined with it to get the equity and improvements of, of livelihood for the, uh, the one to two billion who are in the toughest position. And there are other diseases as well, in addition to the three that you named, I guess hepatitis and others would also be ones that you would turn your attention to, no doubt, at some point. Yeah, our focus is um, infectious disease. And so in India, it would be uh, the unbelievable number of kids who die of diarrhea, who die of respiratory disease. Uh, you know, up in the north, because of the, the lack of vaccination coverage, the new vaccines have not been added, uh, the death rate is more than double what it should be. Uh, you have, of course, uh, started to spend, give a lot of focus to India. How do you think India is dealing with some of the problems it has, particularly health, um, education, perhaps, and, and of course, the, the poorest of the poor? Well, the focus of our foundation is health and agriculture. And certainly, uh, India's had some big challenges there. Uh, but year by year, there's definitely an improvement. Uh, the government uh, put out the National Rural Health Mission. Uh, like all big programs, you know, the first few years there was a lot of learning. How do you hire people? How do you measure people? Uh, but year by year, that uh, program has is, is become a real asset. So the, the, over a third of the unvaccinated children in the world are in India, one, one country. And so that just shows the room for improvement. Uh, in some areas, particularly Bihar, went from being about the worst uh, to uh, really uh, quite good. And so it shows if you get focused, if you're hiring the right people, measuring them the right way, uh, phenomenal things can happen. 
and now new vaccines are starting to be rolled out. Uh, the vaccine called pentavalent uh, is moving into six states. It needs to be used throughout the country. Um, so we're, you know, we're enthused about the partnerships we have uh, and that health, as India's growing its economy, that the health of the poorest, the uh, subsistence farmer, there is some additional focus on that, that person. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecards, special analysis, and much more. Download free ndtv.com slash apps.